21 foot power boats are designed for pleasure cruises or fishing trips on rivers. Not a 6,000 mile expedition across a vast ocean. Yet as two brothers arrived in London, their fiberglass vessel entered the record books as the smallest power boat to cross the Atlantic. We had about uh, six hours of uh, 10 to 15 foot seas. They were breaching us. Ralph was driving, he did a good job, made us do it. Six scary times in my opinion, he said three. It's only three. He says I almost killed him six times. I almost killed him three times, okay? The brothers set off from their home in Florida two months ago, stopping at harbours to refuel, their only escape from mountainous waves and icy waters. For Ralph, an ex-Marine, the journey was personal, inspired by the deaths of three colleagues. He and his brother hope to raise funds for charities that support injured armed service personnel. There were many moments, many, many moments where we thought we were in trouble. But the reality is, you know, every hero that goes into combat, that's what they do. They go through periods of time when, when, when they think it's all done. And we're doing this to honor wounded heroes. The brothers may have arrived in the UK in one piece, but their powerboat has been battered by pounding waves, held together with makeshift splints. We took knives, kitchen knives, and stretched them across there, and duct taped them, and banded them together, and that's what's holding this thing together. Their adventures are far from over. The brothers are now setting sail around Europe to create awareness of the charities they're trying to help, as long as their boat can stay seaworthy, of course. Chris Rogers for NBC News, London.